Hi, welcome to DIY Electronics, of interest to anyone who enjoys electronics. I'm your host, Cody. Hello YouTube, today we're going to talk about um, LEDs in parallel. Um, I've had a lot of questions on my other videos about how to use LEDs in parallel and how to calculate the resistor needed to supply enough current to get the LEDs to their maximum brightness. Um, the formula that I've used in the video for LEDs, just one LED to calculate the resistor value, is up here. And that's fine if you got an LED um, in series. And you know, you just get your R value by determining the voltage drop of the LED and the current that's needed for that LED. And um, standard LEDs are 2 volt drop and 20 milliamps of current. So with our standard formula, if we have a 12 volt battery, so we have a 12 volt source and a 10 and a 2 volt drop. I don't know why that's a B. That, that should be a D. So we have a 2 volt drop, and then we're going to divide by our 20 milliamps, which would come out to be about 500 ohms. Okay, that's fine. But if you were to connect this circuit and make a parallel circuit with it, that would mean you are dropping, you're only going to be, you're going to be dropping 10 volts there, and you're only going to be sourcing 20 milliamps of current from that resistor. So these LEDs out here are going to have to divide up the 20 milliamps of current so with three LEDs it would be 20 milliamps divided by three. Um, a simpler way to do this and get the maximum power to each LED without burning them up would be this. Instead of using that formula, let's just uh, rewrite that and make a little modified one. So R equals, we're going to take the V source, subtract the V drop, divided by the current of each LED added. So actually let me write the standard format. So it would be current of every LED in the circuit added together that each one's going to draw. So for this circuit here, since we have three LEDs, we would write this as this. It would be 12 volts, subtract the two volt drop that each LED is going to go, because each leg of this is going to have 12 volts. And then we're going to take each one of our currents, which is 20 milliamps, and add them together. Okay, so down here, this would be a total of 80 milliamps, and go ahead and show you this with the calculator. So it would be 12, subtract the 2 volts, dropped, divided by, open parentheses. 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 and our resistor value would be 166 ohms so the resistor needed would be 166 and that would provide 20 milliamps of power to each LED in this circuit um, I have an example set up over here, and I'm using a 12 volt supply just to show it. I was going to use smaller so I didn't have to combine res resistors, but anyways. So I'm using a 12 volt supply, 
So, and then um, my voltage drops two volts because they're standard resistors for uh, LEDs. And then my current for each one is going to be 20 milliamps. And I have a total of nine LEDs. So that's 20 milliamps times nine. So let's go ahead and figure out what that is. 12 subtract 2, we know it's 10 divided by 0 0.02 times 9, close parentheses, and our resistor value would be 55 ohms. And it's okay to go a little higher than that, or even, but you don't want to go any lower than that value. Um, so, for my resistor right here, I would need a 55 ohm resistor. But now remember, it's 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 going to be sourcing 0 0.02 times 9, 1, 180 milliamps, which is a lot of power. And you know it's going to be dropping 10 volts. So let's figure out the wattage for that resistor. So it would be 0.18 times 10. So we would need a 1.8 watt resistor. And of course, they don't make 1.8, so you would need to go up to a 2 watt or even higher. Um, the higher the better. Um, so we, we would need a 2 watt 55 ohm resistor. Okay. So with the circuit I got here, I have two 1 watt resistors in parallel and these right here are actually only 100 ohms each which in parallel, that would equal out to 55, 50 ohms. And so I'm a little under what I should have, but I'm not going to be running them for a long period of time, so it's not going to cause any major damage. So if I connect them up, you'll see that it shines brightly. You know, pretty much taking up the whole camera. Now, let's just look at the common mistake that people make, and they use the formula up here. If you were to say the voltage source, which we already have done, and we said it was 500 ohms. Well, I don't have a 500 ohm 1 watt resistor, but I do have two 1K resistors. Again, in parallel, they um, you divide by how many of the resistors you got to figure out your ohms, but I'm not going for that. So in two 1K resistors in parallel, make um, 500 ohms. So if we just drop those in there right there. And again, this is only going to be providing 20 milliamps of current to all of these LEDs. And you'll see that the brightness is greatly affected. You see, you can still see the screen. Unlike before, you could hardly see anything. So I hope this clears everything up for solving for um, the resistor values needed for LEDs. Um, again, I'm to sum all this up in time. The formula would be this. The resistor value would equal V source subtract V drop divided by just open that up current drop or used times the number of LEDs. And uh, we'll just put NL number of LEDs. So that right there would be the formula you would need to use. And it's V source subtract V drop divided by <clears throat> the current used by each LED times the number of LEDs. And you would only need one LED for your circuit, and you do need to solve for power of that, which P power or watts equals current times the volts. And that's the voltage drop. So that would be this, not this voltage drop, but the voltage drop that the resistor is going to be dropping which is the V source subtract V drop of the LED.